Hello YouTube community, my name is the Jackhammer13, and today we are back with some more The Longest Journey. Previously, we ended up going into the archives. Oh god, really uh starting to burp up dinner, good lord. Uh printed out this thing to get an idea of where Warren Hughes can go to find his sister and uh to show him that yes we did in fact get rid of his entire record. In fact we sort of killed him in a sense. Y yeah, that's, you know, a thing that happened. Uh, we also got this, like, weird little hollow cube thing, data cube, they call it. I have no idea what I can use this on, or where, for that matter. But we'll figure that out as soon as we can. Um, right now, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do. Um, probably not. I wonder if, like... No, it doesn't have anything to do there. Okay, well, we'll just head back to uh, to Warren and go ahead and give him his thingamajigger. He might be able to just lead me to somebody who can, like, do something with the data cube. Um, or maybe Cortez will know something about the data cube stuff. I don't know. We'll figure that part out. But we do have the Vanguard data cube, so that is a nice thing. Good lord. I don't want to know what he's doing. He's taking a whiz. This person is she's gone. gone. Is she? Yeah, she's gone. Please run towards the building. Look at that. It's a tax. No, get in there. I didn't get to see the taxi, so it's fine. It's whatever. Um, go ahead and just hand him the printout. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? Yeah. It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents... They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake. A lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... My parents. You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister... I gotta find her. I feel that, dude. I'm sure you will, Warren. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Thanks a lot. Well, when you're dead, nobody cares. Cops are not going to be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. But I'm going to have a tough time getting a new ID. You should have just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. Sorry, man. I, I had to wipe it clean. Sorry. Anyway, um, I had wiped them clean, but uh, I saw the delete button, and I was like, well, if I delete this, I might be able to, like, reverse that. I just want to see what happens. You know, that didn't work. <laughs> that wasn't particularly helpful. Um, but at the very least, you're able to go under a new name and shit, so kudos to that, I guess? I don't know, dude. Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right. You got it. Head on out to the Newport docks down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, and this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Alright, I Warren. will catch you later, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. Yeah, yeah, you too, bro. Alright, so now we have Sunday. Sunday. I went to the Hope Street Cathedral and met pa Father Raul. Nice guy. He told me that Warren hangs out in Building 87, right down on Hope Street. That's Building 87. Yeah. Wait, we've already done this one. Yeah, we've already read that one. Um, 
Morton Hughes wasn't a bad kid. Church Voltec is the cover here in Stark. Okay, so this is where we are. I don't know why that did the thing that it did. Like, took me back a bit, but whatever. Still Sunday. Surprise! I got in, I got out, I got a glorious career in crime ahead of me if I want. And it feels so good. My parents would be so proud of me. Little Miss Criminal, that's me. Oh, whatever. At least I got the name and location of Warren's friend, the so-called Burns Flipper. Is that an actual name? His shop is down by the Newport docks in an old garage. Knock three times on the door, Warren told me. I'm surprised I don't have to say open sesame as well. Hopefully this guy, uh, Flipper, will be able to help me locate the Vanguard or Church of Voltec. This afternoon I have to meet up with Cortez again, and I'd prefer to have some solid information to share with him. Cool. Alright, uh, thank you, Warren. It's a pleasure meeting you, and uh, I likely will see you again down the road. Mr. Wino over here doing his thing. She's gone. <laughs> I wonder if we can, like, go talk with Raul at some point later on. Here we are at the docks. I feel like this, this, like, scene here, is kind of like what's on the cover art. I don't know if that's true or not, but it kind of reminds me of it. Downstairs. What do you mean downstairs? That thing hasn't sailed for years. It's just a big hunk of rust with paint on it now. Cargo containers. Construction yard. Downstairs. What is downstairs? Oh no Cargo no no no. We don't want to go downstairs. We'll go to the construction yard. Because I think that's closer to where we need to go. Because we were just downstairs and like there wasn't anything there for us. It's a rickety ladder. Indeed it is. Well, I mean, this is the rickety ladder. This is a tower. Can we, uh, move up hey, the pace? Hey, cool! It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition! Gas-guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. All right. Uh, give me one second, I gotta blow my nose. Alright, sorry about that. So, uh, can we get into the Camaro? Also, if this is what a 2030. Hey, uh oh, it bites. Okay. Uh, 2032, it, it looks like that. I guess they sort of went like back with a, a slightly more re no 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 I didn't mean to do that go back <laughs> it looks like they kind of went back with a more slightly retro look for this Camaro it's blue too which I'm not a big fan of um, and by that point they decided to install automated speakers can we talk with them or some shit please I cannot talk with it okay. This tower is like really in the way of everything. So like, I see this and I'm like, oh, there's a thing there. But no, it's it's just the tower. That's the garage, which I think is where Flippers is. And she's just sort of gravitating over towards it anyway. So I guess that's where we gotta go. So there's the door. We knock on that three times. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. Where there's ventilation, there's life. Even if I could somehow squeeze through that hole, there's just no way I'm going to risk getting stuck ten feet down and starved to death. Fair enough. I wouldn't want you to. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint, then? It's so last century. Not what I meant to do. Where there's ventilation, there's life. The doors are closed. Yeah, they are. Let's go knock on it three times right quick. 
Hurry up. That was only once. Twice. Thrice. You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Where did that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? Fair enough. Warren called you on my behalf. Warren Hughes. You know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? No, I'm not. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, fuck off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. Jesus. I'm not a slag. Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit. You know, I got no beef with your posse, so fuck off. No, Listen. no, I'm... A corp, yeah. I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up for just one <laughs> second? Chill out! Fuck off! I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours, and he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think it was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the flipper. Like I fight because I see a band in tight pants. I don't think so. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Jesus Christ. Oh, you're such a bastard. Listen. I was out to arrest you. Don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit. My channel was warm and scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. Jesus. Whatever, dude. You're telling me that, that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. Uh, no, no, I, I'm kind of done with this. We'll, we'll move past it. It's okay. The world can fucking die. All I care. I was gonna say something, but I, I completely lost track of what that was. I have no clue. He's an asshole. I can't tell if I hate him worse than uh, good old what's his face or not. Now this is a neat view. It's not much different from the rest of them, but it is, you know, got these things. The, like, hey, it's being recorded kind of look. Which I think looks pretty cool. It's a you meat hook. Very solid. That's not what I was looking at. It's the meat hook here. Which is also not really a meat hook, but it's fine. It's a pit. There's light down there, but the pit's too deep to see anything. Okay, well then I guess that's where we go. Can Hello? Oh. Who the hell are you? You're weird as hell, dude. Very cyberpunkish. Yeah, you ain't lying. But you are Ryan. Very cyberpunkish. Those are two different things. You can't use the same line for two different things. I hate that so much. Let me fucking That's look at the computer. It's a mishmash of old and new computer hardware. Thank you. It's a guy in a hover chair. That's got to be Burns Flipper. Let me go pick him up. Oh, I can't. Hello? Are you Burn? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. <sighs> How'd you get down here? 
Who the hell are you? What the f- I knocked, you let me in. <laughs> only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any Warren. Oh, Warren, right, yeah. Fire lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier. Flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah, oh, you his baby, yeah. Dude, what the f- oh, What are you sure. on? I date 15 year olds all the time. That the voice crack. So, what the fuck do you want? Uh. I need some information. So visit the fucking library, or go bother the Oracle, or whatever. The flipper can't help you. That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. The best there ever was. Better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams. The emperor of the feed, baby. What kind of information do you need? I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. What do you mean? Details. Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman. There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map. What is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything. Joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max, illegality. What would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? What I don't have here, I can get for a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S-Smart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S-Smart. Nah, what I got here costs moolah, mucho moolah. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? I don't really need one of those. Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate this guy so much. He's wonderful. What happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You want to know? Yeah. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to know. I'll tell you you took my legs. Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. Are you a virgin? N shut the what? fuck up. Get out of here. I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. I don't know. Is she a virgin? She never talked about any. I mean. That's none of your business. Then it's none of your business how I lost my little legs. Got it? Got it. Fair enough. You're weird. So are you. <laughs> I need information on a guy called J. I need details. D E T A I L. Details, woman! I need something! I can't go on what you're talking about! You like talking Latin! Okay, Thanks fine. for your help, Mr. Flipper. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns, yeah. Beautiful. Ha! See ya! Okay. I don't think he'll be as much help as I think he... I don't know what the words I was trying to say are, but here, yo, you want some details? I got some hey, juicy ass details Burns? right here, bud. I'll be right up. You ain't gotta be such an asshole all the time, dude. I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah. So, what the hell is on it? That's what I'm trying to find you out. Asked for details. This thing has details. Plenty of it. I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security, and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Yeah, more or less. Could you? Please? 
shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little plaything, I'd kick you out. And whatever. Hand it over, now give me a few minutes. This guy's an asshat. I, I... I still don't know if he's worse or not. Like... Theoretically, he should be. But he's got, like, an odd charm to him. That... Douchebag Mc, uh, McAsshole, Zach, I think his name was. Fucking, I don't remember, dude. He just didn't have. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. It's good stuff, though. Freshest information. And I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flip stuff. So, what can you tell about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. But first, take a look at this recording. Alright, cool. Step over to the screen there, I'll play it back for you, okay? Sounds good to me. We're finally getting somewhere. To join in the effort, we must charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and goodwill. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. Sounds like bullshit to me. our children and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be victorious. They will not force us, we shall be victorious. yourself in that scenario. Who was that? He was incredibly charismatic. Cool. Yeah. Who do you think? Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGallan. Head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard if you wish. Suppose a peaceful philosopher dude. Not the case as it turns out. Yeah, no, not at all. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. Ha. Huh. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, it's clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Who's this? Ah, it's a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right-hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. Their grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. And I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers of the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. 
Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. I don't know about that, necessarily. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was, for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important. So when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking thing. He's trying to control these powers he has? They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. Ah, uh, fun. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. <laughs> Now, he runs the whole dark side of the Church of Voltec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? Because they bought known. I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses. And I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, you're either very brave or very stupid, Chiquita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Fair enough. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. Yeah, but that's like my own doing. I'll take that chance. Yeah. Shit. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you... Why are you doing it? That's I don't know. <laughs> Very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operations, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Is it bingo? MTI, Malku Technologies Incorporated. Big guys. Almost oh. as big as Bokamba Mercer. Beat the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Fair enough. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI. Some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. Nice. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, You'll probably find the Vanguard Elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude. What the fuck do you think? Shit. <laughs> don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ. You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. The apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, you don't. babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top level ID to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. Yo, can you get me that though? Like, you're in the you're in the business of selling that kind of shit. I'm sure, right? Can I please? L listen, dude. Hey, Burns. I'll be right up. God, Mom. What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? 
Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking, what do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Bulldogs? Pitbull Terriers? Pitbull Terriers, that, that's true. Shit. Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Dude, they're nice dogs. Fuck off. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. Uh, sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like, $300. Ha! <laughs> Try 20k on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. They don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which we have a friend of Warren's at dismay, <laughs> it'll still come to $15,000, baby. Damn, dude. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita, that urge disappeared with my little legs. That's not what I meant. No, I'm not that. God forbid. More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need it. Whoa! God! The fuck's going on? Shit, it gets me every time. What's wrong, dude? Ah, the anti-grab control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. Oh, I got my own, dude. If I, I can go get it. If I get a new anti-grab control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> If you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure, like you're gonna find one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I actually know where one is. Thanks. Sure. Okay. Well, we'll be back, Mr. Flipper Man dude thing. I think we've got... Yes. Um, so we'll come back, and we'll read this. The next time around but uh, we've been going for, th for 33 minutes already so uh, even if I do edit some of that stuff out it will still be a long episode so my name is the Jack of 13 it's a pleasure having you guys here today but I need to sign out and I will catch you guys in the next episode